New York Yankees fans, what is up? It is Felix from NYNews.com yet again for another video. Like always, como estas? Hey, New York Yankees fans, I want to talk about something I just read. Alex Rodriguez was stated in saying that uh, J.D. Martinez and Mookie Betts, they're a better duo than uh, Aaron Judge and Stanton. That's quite laughable due to the fact that J.D. Martinez has a history of injuries. Due to the fact that, in my opinion, his tear is suspect. He's doing things that no other Red Sox player has done in 107 years. Not Manny, not Ortiz, not even Ted Williams. Okay, so that's kind of suspect. On the other hand, Boogie Betts is a, let's say, a pesky hitter with some power. So when it's all said and done, look at the stats. Aaron Judge and Stanton, they go on them just a little slight tear. You're going to see either Judge or Stanton lead the major leagues in home runs, period. It doesn't take Judge or Stanton to go on a little rampage here and there to take number one. So that little comment for Alex Rodriguez, I don't know. I don't agree with that. Like I said, when it's all said and done, Judge and Stanton, their numbers power-wise, production-wise, will be better than JT Martinez and Mookie Betts. Just look at the RBI totals, very similar between all four players. So like I said, when it's all said and done, Alex Rodriguez is just going to eat his words. I don't know why he's making comments like that. I guess when you're interviewed by the Globe, a New England-based newspaper, I guess you got to make comments like that. But um, very, very hypocritical of Alex Rodriguez. Maybe it might be a little bit of jealousy. Who knows? I know Stanton and Judge, while they've been here, have matched Alex Rodriguez when it comes to popularity and star power. I know Judge for a fact with what he did last year. And Stanton, once he gets on the tear, he's just going to make Alex Rodriguez ancient history. So, uh... So, Yankees fans, NYYNews.com is going to change their name to I Told You So News. Because if you've been paying attention to NYY News for quite some time now, even on the YouTube channel, it's I Told You So. I'm just playing around. I'm not going to change the name. But if you've been paying attention, I've told you about Gray when nobody else wanted to talk about him. I told you about Gary when nobody wanted to talk about him. I told you about Jacoby Ellsbury. Where's Jacoby? Nowhere to be found. Right? I told you he's not going to play on the New York Yankees in 2018. And he's not coming back. I'm telling you. It's a cat and mouse game between Cashman and Boris. You release Jacoby Ellsbury, you got to pay him what? Like 20 to $40 million. So it's a cat and mouse game. I don't see Jacoby Ellsbury coming back this season. They're just going to have to figure that out in the offseason of 2018, 2019. And I'm not stating that as a fact. It's just my opinion of what I believe is going on. And when I say 20 to $40 million is not the remainder of his contract. That is money added to, let's say, if you release Jacoby Ellsbury, it probably states in his contract that if the Yankees release him, they got to pay him 20 or $40 million more if they release him. So, Yankees fans, what I notice about some Yankees fans is that um, they ride the coattails of, let's say, mainstream media or, let's say, known figures in the Yankees universe. Whatever they say, they're going to parrot, okay? So when people like me state their opinions, I've said this before they got Sunny Gray. But let's say, for an example, when I uploaded videos here in the offseason, somewhere between February or January, I can't recall, I made videos saying, hey, trade Sunny Gray while you can. Trade him while he still has value. Trade him for another arm. Who knows? Just trade him. Now, fast forward. Sunny Gray's value is worth more than Matt Harvey, okay? It has sunk dramatically. The only way you're going to trade Sonny Gray is if you add him into a package or just give him away practically for free, okay? For prospects, other teams have essentially given up on. That's the value that Sonny Gray has now. I, right, for one, thought trading Sonny Gray for Patrick Corbin would work out for the Diamondbacks and the Yankees. I, for one, think Sonny Gray would pitch better in the National League. Sonny Gray would have one more year of control, and the Diamondbacks would get a couple of prospects and Sonny Gray for Patrick Corbin. But we could kiss that idea out the window since Sonny Gray has not performed. Sonny Gray, as of now, can go down as one of the worst trades that the Yankees have made in recent years just due to the fact that he is not performing against the Red Sox and tough teams. So once you have that recipe, it might go down as one of the worst trades ever, maybe. But it might be a blessing in disguise just due to the fact that the Yankees have pitchers like Herman 
And Loisega, I, for one, like Loisega better than Herman. But um, as long as Sunday Gray is in this rotation, I don't see both of them in this rotation and getting a chance. The only way they can get a chance is by trading away Sunny Gray. I don't see them releasing them. I could just see them trading him for scraps at the moment. And I can see, I can still see a team like the Diamondbacks being interested in Sunny Gray, but we're not going to get back, let's say, a Patrick Corbin. We're just going to get back scraps. So it's basically unloading Sunny Gray just to make room for, let's say, future moves. Or, like I said, including him in a package for a few moves you make, let's say, for a catcher, maybe, because we all see that uh, Austin Roman had a scare, and that's just a wake-up call for the New York Yankees that they need to obtain a catcher while Gary Sanchez is out. And again, Yankees fans, I know you guys get mad, but Gary Sanchez, in my opinion, is not a long-term solution as catcher on the New York Yankees. Just like I told you, if you are a reader of NYNews.com, back in July 2017, I told you guys Sonny Gray wasn't going to work out. And I'm telling you as of now, long term, Gary Sanchez is not going to work out as a catcher on the New York Yankees. My opinion to some Yankees fans, take other people's opinions as opinions. Try to hear them out. Don't always bash other people when they have opinions. Because I've noticed firsthand doing this since 2005 that a lot of people jump the bandwagon and rather listen to, let's say, celebrities. You know, the typical talking heads on TV. They listen to their opinions and ignore other people with other opinions. And we see these other types of fans cyber bully other fans. So in my opinion, quit, stop that. If anything, my channel and my website is a perfect example of pointing out hypocrisy. Like you guys, if you've been following me again, I mentioned that you have seen me call out hypocrisy. You have seen me come out months before these other fakes come out and say, hey, we need to trade Sonny Gray. I've been saying that for quite some time now, and I've been dodging bullets, and you have been seeing that. So, hey, I'm not trying to sound like a narcissist. Maybe if I have opinions on other things, maybe you might just have to listen to that. Don't jump to conclusions. No, it's not clickbait. No, it's not me trying to make money. No, it's my opinions, and you guys have seen that firsthand. I release something, the votes or 75% negative. But hey, I guess when you jump out before anybody, that's how you build up a great reputation. So you're seeing it firsthand, folks. Sonny Gray's not working out for the New York Yankees. I've said it a million times. He's never going to work out for the New York Yankees. If I were the New York Yankees, I would trade him to a National League team. Just put him out of his misery. He's never going to work out in the AO. And yes, I still believe that the Yankees can acquire a Jacob DeGrom. Either they're going to have to trade Glaber Torres, which they're not, or Trey Gary Sanchez in the package. So pick your poison. If you want the Grom, you're going to have to get rid of one of those two players. So like always, Yankees fans, this has been Felix for NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.